Appreciate that. There you go. Uh, so, um, good announcement yesterday coming out about uh, Windows Update for Business reports are, are now generally available. Um, if you're not familiar with them, I think we touched on these a little bit when they first went preview several weeks back. Um, Mm -hmm. but if you're not familiar with the windows update for business reports, this is sort of the evolution of the update compliance solution, uh, where you can configure your clients that are being updated through, uh, uh, windows updates, uh, for business to upload their, um, windows update, uh, telemetry basically to your tenant and then get some, uh, reports and information about the devices uh, and their update compliance. Um, so a, a nice announcement here. Um, some good information in here that uh, I actually have this configured over in my tenant. Um, we can take a quick look at this just to see what it looks like. Um, so basically it's a solution that still uses log analytics um, just like update compliance, and you can view the workbook um, that kind of gives you the dashboard and reports of that data from within Azure Monitor. Um, give some good information here uh, about security update status of your devices, feature update status, whether your devices are actually um, on an in-service feature update, uh, and then you can dive into some some quality updates, uh, feature update details, and even delivery optimization details uh, to kind of take a look at the efficiency, uh, bandwidth efficiency of update content within your devices that have been onboarded into the solution. Um, so... Uh, Glad to see um, Microsoft sort of evolving this solution. Um, I still heavily recommend the MS Endpoint Manager update compliance solution that we've featured here a few times as well um, that relies on some of this data in addition to uh, some custom inventory that that they upload into your log analytics workspace. Um, but you know, as as you and I talk about a lot on these office hours, I think we're always happy to see some of these solutions become a little bit more um, uh, native to the platform. So, um, good update there uh, on the topic of uh, Windows updates. We had a good conversation um, just a few minutes ago, actually, uh, with Brooks Pepin. Um, talking a little bit more about the uh, Windows Update for Business deployment service. So this is basically, um, as I understand the deployment service, is a is a way to programmatically manage Windows Update for Business. Um, and, and really what that means to me is that Microsoft is now exposing endpoints to Windows Update for Business via MS Graph, um, which is which is cool. We can we can start to get information about um, deployments and create deployments through that API, still in the um, uh, in the beta endpoint. Um, and Microsoft has said that they are going to be building on this service. Um, what we were talking about specifically, though, is let me find this thread here. A, f- a few weeks back, um, Brooks started a Twitter thread, basically trying to get more information about how the feature update policy um, works in Intune. Um, and it turns out that the feature update policy and expedited quality update policy are actually using the Windows Update for Business deployment service already. It's just sort of obscured away from the client. Um, and what what he found out was that um, your normal Windows Update for Business rings have a, a CSP and actually put registry keys down in the client. But when you deploy these two types of policies, 
it's all on the server side. Nothing actually gets set on the client. So if you want to get more information about a particular device, you basically have to connect to MS Graph, query a specific device ID to see if it's been configured to actually be offered a feature update. Um, and in this Twitter thread, there was quite a bit of good information um, back and forth between Brooks, um, Matthias, and, and Gabe from Microsoft. Um, so just some some really good stuff that I that I learned this afternoon uh, that I kind of wanted to be able to to share with everybody. Um, some interesting stuff they've got coming out of there, though, Johan. 